Hello, boys and girls. Since it is spring, I thought I would do one of our favorite stories, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. But before we read, let's do a finger play. This is new to me and it's going to be new to you, so let's learn it together. It's called Cal Caterpillar Counting. So you could do this by putting up four fingers and you could count along with me. One little caterpillar crawled on my shoe. Another came along and then there were two. Two little caterpillars crawled on my knee. Another came along and then there were Three. Three little caterpillars crawled on the floor. Another came along and then there were one, two, three, four. Four little caterpillars. Watch them crawl away. They'll all turn into beautiful butterflies. One, Fine day. Alright, let's read. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. He wrote the words to this book and illustrated the beautiful pictures. Do you remember what the author does? The author writes the words and the illustrator makes all the beautiful pictures. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still very hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. What comes after Tuesday? Wednesday. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Count the oranges. One, three, four, five. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after
after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks, and then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and it happened. Who guessed it? He was a beautiful butterfly. the end. That was a really great story. I'm sure all of you probably have read that before, but I love reading it. It's one of my favorites. See you soon.